a community within our greater community, adults, families, children, all experiencing homelessness, a crisis in normal times, now even more critical in this time of COVID. People Serving People is the region's largest shelter for families and children experiencing homelessness. We sat down with People Serving People's Interim Executive Director, Renal Ray. How would you describe the last several months. Yeah, the last several months have been really difficult for our communities. So first and foremost, our families are experiencing a housing crisis, and that's why they're with us here in shelter. And then you throw in a pandemic on top of that. A pandemic that has changed dramatically, Renal says, how PSP serves their families. About 260 people, mostly children. I've been telling folks that everything about how we do our work has shifted as an organization. So we've shifted the way we do meals. So we are delivering packaged meals to families three times a day, every day, and probably will be throughout the pandemic. We had to decrease the capacity of children that we could serve in our early education programs. PSP also supports families with school-aged children now struggling to distance learn. So we pulled something together because we knew that kids needed another outlet and some additional support so that they don't fall even further behind um, where they might already be. And PSP has embarked on all this change and challenge without their usual force of nearly 7,000 volunteers. How have you been able to compensate for the absence of those really critical volunteers? Really, we've gotten creative with our staffing. So teachers who were in early ed classrooms for a while were supporting meal delivery. Folks have just been pitching in where and when they can. And while flexibility has helped, this may help to put the crisis in perspective. For the last months, most families have found refuge at home. Now imagine if you don't have one. You imagine even like a family of four, they're all in that one space together. And in that space, folks are resting, folks are learning, folks are trying to engage in housing searches or job searches, babies are crying. What can we do from our the comfort of our own homes to help make a difference? There's a whole bunch that folks can do in community, distanced and safe to support the organization. And people can find out more about that at our website, which is www.peopleservingpeople.org. We will have that link on our website, care11.com. There you can also learn more about the organization's gala taking place this Saturday evening, which Carla says she has the honor of emceeing again this year.